Monday, everyone. Hope all is well. If any of you watched the Super Bowl yesterday, you saw some dude in a tan overcoat, white shirt, tie, and a hat a couple times during the program. I also suspect that some may not have known who that guy was. Well, that was Vince Lombardi, the person for whom the Super Bowl trophy is named. Of course, it was not a live shot. Lombardi died many years ago. It was instead, however, a hologram of Lombardi, but his speaking to us was pretty real for me. While I never met the man, I have studied him as the epitome of leadership and coaching. And I realized after I started revisiting information on the internet, how much I appreciate who he was and that for which he stood. One of his many quotes that motivates me to this day is, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Another thing about Lombardi is how much ahead of his time he was. For example, you may have heard that last evening's game had the first female to ever serve as an official in the Super Bowl. So what would Lombardi have said? Probably that it was about time. His intolerance of intolerance is legendary. If you spoke out, out against someone's sexual orientation, you would be terminated whether staff or teammate, team member. If your hotel did not allow non-whites to stay there, the Packers did not stay there. And if your company was not inclusive, the team and its players were not to frequent the establishment or use your services. For the late 1950s and early 1960s, these were radical concepts. His requirement of mental toughness from his players was also legendary. Be assured the mistakes we saw last evening by the Kansas City players was not something you ever saw from a team coached by Lombardi. By the way, in case you're wondering, I rooted for the old guy playing quarterback, so I was pretty, pretty pleased with the outcome. Switching gears, this Wednesday the 10th is our first general membership meeting of 2021. And speaking will be Mike Stotzkoff, the CEO of the Southeast Michigan Builders Association. If you haven't already signed up, please go to our website to do so. The meeting starts at nine o'clock with networking and uh, before and after the meeting. Thursday, the 11th is our Macomb, Macomb County morning coffee pop-up, which will be virtual. It's just too darn cold to do social, social distancing outside. It starts at 8.30 a.m. Also this week on Friday is our agent roundtable, where we will discuss timely topics about stuff you are experiencing in the field led by Bill Bauscher. On the 18th, Anne-Marie DeRosier will be teaching the NAR certification class at home with diversity. I believe there is still time to sign up. We also are offering a program on MISHTA, the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, which offers great programs for those looking to buy a home but may not, may not qualify for FHA later in the month. What else do I need to mention? Oh, market conditions. Interest rates remain low, and I heard a newscast last week that said they did not expect to see any noteworthy changes until 2024. Also, I think all of you will recall how strongly the market in 2020 started out in January. Well, for January 2021, pending sales for January were virtually the same. Keep up the good work. Additionally, over the course of each week, you will receive our news you can use electronically, and on Friday, a weekly digest of local, state, and national information that we receive at the board office almost daily. Please look for both. Finally, be productive, successful, and profitable, and please stay safe. Bye.